Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Educational Bite presented by Acorn Internet Services. Today is installment number 029, How to Gather Your TripAdvisor Badge Code. My name is Annie Buck, and I will be showing you how to go into TripAdvisor and find code for badges that you might want to add to your website. Um, some innkeepers have the ability to go in and do this themselves. Others rely on their webmasters to make changes like this for them. So we're going to show you how do you go into TripAdvisor and get that badge code because it's a little tricky. So let's go out to TripAdvisor and here we are. And you can see the home page for TripAdvisor. What we're going to do is search up in this search box for the name of your property. And today I'm going to use as an example 10 Fitch which is in New York, um, one of our customers, and we're going to go ahead and look for 10 Fitch. And here you can see we have the listing for 10 Fitch. Now we're going to go down on the page. We're just going to scroll down on the page and we're seeing these great reviews and we're just going to keep going keep going down the page. This has changed a little bit um, in the last couple months um, from the way it used to be. So we're going to keep looking, keep looking, keep looking and whoops I popped up. So let's go all the way back down to the bottom of the page and see all the way down here where it says is 10 Fitch your business? You're going to click manage your listing. All right, now you can see you have several different choices here. You can register for an account and that's fine to do if you'd like to do that. It helps you um, respond to reviews, get all kinds of information about your property. Um, here we have this uh, little choice here which is online marketing tools and that's what we're going to look at. So let's click there. You'll probably get a pop-up of some kind. But now you can see we're on the page that says online marketing tools and we have here display your ratings and reviews, get more reviews, promote your area, link to TripAdvisor. We have a lot of different choices here. So if we click on the view options for display your rating and reviews, you can see here if you've been awarded a certificate of excellence, it's going to be on there. Um, you can have a Bravo button. The button for the TripAdvisor um, link says you're recommended or review snippets. You can choose any of those different widgets. So let's say you have a certificate of excellence badge and you want to get that. So you can go select and you can come in here and you can choose whatever language you want and the code is in this little box. So you can click that and copy that control A to gather all the code control C to copy and you can send that to your uh, webmaster or you can use it yourself. Alternatively you can click here to email this code here and that will send it right to your email address or to your webmaster's email address and then they also have a press release template, uh, an award uh, logo that you can actually have printed out and put on print materials. Now let's take a look at another option here. So here we have a review widget. So let's go take a look at that. We're going to click view online tools. And you can see here this gives an opportunity for the customer to write a review and and publish it right there from your site which is a really nice um, option. And then um, you can see here we have all of these little um, links that will show you how these are being used on pages. So you can always click those to see what they look like. Um, let's go back. Um, here's a nearby map sort of little widget thing that you can you can use. And then you just have a little widget um, if you just want to do a link and here's a widget for reading reviews. So you can see there are many different widgets that you can choose from but the way that you get that information out to your webmaster is you click there, you can choose um, for example let's look at this one because this one has some options on it, review snippets. So let's select that and you can see here as we're looking at the page you can make a little few changes. So you can have a tall skinny one like this 
you can change that to a wide variation and then you can see the look changes. You can um, put different number of reviews on there and I'll scroll down the page so you can see what that looks like. Um, you can remove the writer review link or you can leave it on. You can take away the popularity index or leave it on. There's all these different choices with this one. But this one actually puts up a snippet for uh, of a review and then the guests can click more to see more. And the thing about this one that's really cool is this updates by itself. So if it's on your website, you don't have to go out and like come in and reload this all the time. It's going to automatically um, call the reviews from the TripAdvisor website. And again, you just go down on the page and you click somewhere in that box, control A on your keyboard to gather all the code, control C to copy, and then you can um, put that into a notepad document to send to your webmaster. You can copy it into an email or again you can email it. So that is how you go out and gather your TripAdvisor code and thank you very much for joining us for another Acorn Internet Educational Bite.